There's this picture of George Plimpton, uh, a black and white, I think. I'm not sure when it was taken. Uh, but he's standing on a street corner in Manhattan in the middle of a busy work day. Uh, and he's <laughs> wearing this uh, big sandwich board uh, advertising the Paris Review. And uh, he's handing out leaflets, I think. You know, I see that picture and I, I think that's the spirit. That's the kind of pure, uh, unadulterated literary enthusiasm uh, that I look to as a guiding light in my role as uh, the editor of Atelier 26. My boss, Barb, is wearing her tailored black raincoat with her pajamas underneath. Her short gray hair blows in the wind almost straight up. As she finds her way down the pebbled walk, her vision blurry, she holds the poem tightly in her hand. My father hoards it, needs a stash of dark nougat hidden in shoeboxes on high closet shelves. It has been absolutely wonderful publishing with the Talia 26. I have felt inspired, supported, and nourished as a writer from the word go. The founder and publisher is an actively working author. And so it makes working with him very simple from a writer's perspective because he understands every time where I'm coming from, no matter what my question is or what my concern is. I think that his approach is so personal and so constructive and he has such a capacity to really inhabit um, the, the, the story or the poem in front of him so that he's working with you from the inside, which is something I think quite rare uh, in this day and age, in this publishing climate. Atelier 26 has a staff of one. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> I founded Atelier 26 and I continue to uh, strive to grow the press out of a sheer love of books, uh, a sheer passion for great literary voices. And it's been my great good fortune to work with not only some of the most gifted authors, but uh, some of the most adventurous, uh, far-sighted, big-spirited souls. Uh, Harriet Scott Chessman, Elizabeth Rosner, and uh, now this fall, uh, Margaret Malone with her knockout debut story collection, People Like You. The invitation is from a friend, though I use this term loosely, we have no friends. The publication of this book was an exquisite experience for me and continues to be really um, important and meaningful, not just in the beauty of the book, but in the way that Mark and Atelier 26 have approached the process of bookmaking from the editorial phases all the way through to the artwork. The beauty and physical elegance of all our books is one of our highest priorities with the press. We couldn't be luckier than to have, uh, as our designer at Atelier 26, the multi-talented, unstoppable Nathan Shields. Um, his uh, reputation as a pancake artist precedes him, <laughs> but uh, Nathan's um, constantly just outdoing himself with his cover designs. Instead of lint or loose change, his pockets store gold and silver foil the shed skin of secret feasting against the memory of hunger. Uh, I work out of a home office. I, uh, I store inventory in a closet. Um, I don't take a salary. Uh, so our, our overhead is virtually zero. And it's my passion, uh, a personal mission, you could say, uh, to, to find those great literary voices, uh, to find a way to help sustain them and, uh, to try to project those voices into the culture in the best ways I can. And uh, that's how you've got to be. You, you've got to love this whole process, this process of sharing the good stuff in the best way you know how.